So could you just first start, just start off and tell us a bit about your characters for those who haven't uh, seen the show yet? Hey, I'm Ben Jones. I do the voice of Alpha and Roba on The Problem Solvers. That's him. I'm John DiMaggio, and I play the voice of uh, Tux Dog and, and the announcer, really. And yeah, that's true. The, the announcer, He's too. He's the voice of the show. Yeah, pretty much. And that's another exciting adventure solved by The Problem Solvers. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice. That works. <laughs> it is a confident voice. It's a good thing to have confidence whilst you speak. So you, have, you, have to, you have to portray that. You, they need to know that you're confident about the show. Yeah. That's right. Problem solvers is the joint. It's the joint. It's the jam. So can you tell me about like well how this show might differ from some of the I know you guys have, have, have a long history of, of doing the, these kind of voice work. So like what can you tell about this show that that really attracted you to it and what's kind of sets it apart? It's my show, yeah. so it's awesome, and <laughs> I'm attracted to it because it's the best thing ever. Yeah, he went out with it on a couple of dates. Yeah. It was all right. Well, the first date was... Well, it was shaky? Yeah, shaky. It's <laughs> always a courting period you need to get through. Courting. No, but he, it's, it's his show. I mean, he came up with this wacky idea, and, and it's, really, it's really funny. The, 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 the way it's shot, the, you know, the, the, the character design and the, and the layout and everything is, is really funny. It's old, st old styly video gamey kind of, you know, animation, and, and it's really funny. Are you, guys, are you guys on production, like on the second season right now, or like how does, how does that whole schedule kind of work out for you guys? I think the answer for that is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to check my, I should ask Courtney though. But it's still fun. Don't 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 mess with him either. I'm his bodyguard. Yeah, totally. I'm his bodyguard. That's what you gotta test, throw some people around at the yeah, con. You know, people say, "Well, what is it about problems?" Like, oh, 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 in your ass, <laughs> you know. But not this uh, confidence. Like confidence. I said. Confidence. Speak with confidence. So, like, what do you guys like about just coming here in general, like, uh, to the con? I mean, I know a lot of people like it because they don't, especially in animation, you don't, there's such a big, huge time time gap between the show and when you guys are working on it, and you get to see, like, kind of the fan response when you go here. So is that kind of one of the things you like about coming here? Yeah, I grew up on the East Coast, so I'd go to the East Coast conferences, like SPX in Baltimore, Maryland, What's Up, MoCA, New York. This is much bigger. It's, it's huger. It's really huge. The thing I like most about um, San Diego Comic Con is leaving. <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> Trust me. No, I'm not just joking. It's 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 a mammoth event. It's a mammoth event. If 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 you know people that are watching have never been to San Diego Comic Con, it's um it's huge. There are too many people here already. And um, and it's yeah. If you like crowds and uncomfortable people, and 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 socially inept characters walking around in costumes, sweating all day long, then this is the place for you. Come to San Diego. It's a beautiful town. We need you to do the Comic Con commercials for now. If there are commercials, I'll, I'll do them. Hey. Hi, I'm John DiMaggio. You may know me from such shows as Problem Solvers. If you'd like to come to San Diego Comic Con, you won't be able to because you can't get a pass because it's already sold out. So go screw yourself. <laughs> that sounds about accurate. It, it does. I mean, it really is. I mean, you can't. I mean, I'm lucky because I'm, you know, I'm working here and stuff like that. I got passes out the ass. Some of the other, you know, some of the suckers on the street are stuff. Hey, man, I need a miracle, bro. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to see the new Gears of War game, man. Can't He's hired. It. He's hired. I'm a guy. I'm That's a it. guy. That's I'm it. doing your, promos. Your, your cells just start blowing up any minute now. That's it. It's over. It's done. So is there anything else you guys are working on that you can talk about besides, aside from the show or movies or TV or anything? Um, well. I want to know. John, tell us. That's, I, you know, it's, it's, you know, shit. Um, Futurama. Um, awesome. Uh, uh, Adventure Time. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 Penguins of Madagascar. What? Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> um, well, we just did, we finished Gears of War 3, that's coming out in September. Um, I think I'm in the Catwoman straight to DVD animated show. Um, what else am I doing? Um, awesome. yeah, it's, it's, isn't it? It is. 
Uh, I'm the, currently I'm the voice of Teddy Bear on the Pepsi commercials that are airing around the nation. Um, oh boy. And then, uh, well, yeah, I think that's, well, there's, I think there might be more, but I'm missing something. I don't know. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Really busy. <laughs> Sorry. The, the cameraman can't unsee that. <laughs> Is there anything you were, else you're working on, like, script-wise, then, or? No. I might try to get a uh, web page going. <laughs> That's it. He's really enthusiastic about what he's doing. <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. This is going to be a great morning. <laughs> <laughs> So just uh, just <laughs> just try about like what would you like to say to the fans who've been tuning in to Problem Solvers already about uh, why they should keep tuning in to season two? I mean, maybe some other things they might expect from the new season. There's going to be lots more stuff, and it's going to be totally bigger and different <laughs> and better. And um, everything's changed. There's lots of game changers and new characters and Tux Dog. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no it's just really early. That's not fair. This show is canceled now. No, it's not canceled. It's not canceled. It's totally fine. It's just it's I'm gonna tell in the morning. We're tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're working a lot with uh, some reoccurring characters. We're going to bring back reoccurring characters. And lots of stuff that's for kids. Yes. Totally for kids. <laughs> it's totally for kids. <laughs>